uh, have five sides and five corners. So, uh, and it's also in a pattern. So first it's that shape, then that shape, then sh that shape, and then it starts with the one that at, that's at the beginning. So the next one will obviously be the one that looks like a house. Mm -hmm. So it'll either be B, D, or E, and then you can look at the um, shapes inside. So once, then it's a circle, then a oval, then a circle, then an oval. And then there'll be an oval, but you also have to see where they're going. So they're yeah. all going um, anti-clockwise. So it'll be in the bottom left corner, so it'll be D. Did you say B? D. D, D is not in the bottom. Okay, yeah, it's in the bottom left-hand corner, but let's have a quick look at this. I, I like your explanation, by the way. So you see that shape there? That will come here. And this shape will go there. So you said that the answer is going to be like a house. Is that right? Yeah. That's correct. Okay, so now we know that the answer is going to be a house. Oh, sorry, I meant, I meant B, sorry. <laughs> okay, so now let's look at the next bit. So we know that it's going to be a house. But let's look at the shapes here. So we've got this circle, then we've got this the slim oval, then we've got the circle, then we've got the slim oval, and you said that it's going clockwise, didn't you? So the circle yeah. and ovals are going clockwise, so they're going to the left each time. So if this is here on the top left, then with this particular shape, it's going to be on the bottom left, and B will be correct. It will be a full circle, rather than an oval shape, you're right. Okay, well done for that, Hiba. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Muhammad for the next one. Hello. Hi, Muhammad. how are you? Good. How are you been? Good. Very good, okay. So uh, just turn your video on for a second so I can see. Lovely, fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look at this particular question and we need to work out what the patterns are first of all. Would you like to have a try? Yeah. Go ahead then. So the first time those like the curved ones are on the bottom and then the second one it looks like it flips around but it loses a curved line and a white one. Mm -hmm. And it flips around again, so it, it, it loses another curved line, but it gains a white one. Yeah. And then also, on the third one, all of the white ones are gone, and then the lines are coming back. Yeah. So, it will be, the, the curved lines will be on the bottom, so it can't be B or E. Mm -hmm. and there will be, and it can't be C mm -hmm. because there will be a white one because the white ones will be coming back. Mm -hmm. So, and the black is always touching the flat line. So, yes. I think it's D. That's a very good explanation, by the way. So, you've got the curved arches at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, with the first one that you said here, curved arches at the bottom. Good. And then they swap sides. So they basically turn upside down and then the arches yeah. are at the top. And uh, the explanation in terms of the black and the white circles as well was very, very good. Well done. So D will be our correct answer, Margaret. Good boy. Well done. Would you like to have a go at this one as well? Okay. So, so, so in the first one the square is black and then in the second one there's no square so and then in the third one that um the pentagon is black and then in the third one there's no pentagon so it looks like everything that's black is missing so in the next so it turns black and then in, in the next one it like disappears mm -hmm. so well this yeah. time it, it will either be B or D, but it looks like it's going in a circle, so I think it's, wait, it misses out. If it's going in a circle, I don't get why in the first one it, 
I don't get why in the second one the circle doesn't go black because it looks like it's going in a circle but it misses out the circle. Mm. That's right. So it could be either B or D, right? Yeah. And uh, because uh, it's going to be, if you look at D, now the yeah. D, um, the circle is white and the other shape is black. Yeah. But if you look at this shape here, now this, this is black. Right? The black, oh yeah, so it's going to be B? So it's going to be B, which is this one. Yeah. Because then this shape, this shape has to be white. Yeah. Okay. So lovely. So you start off with one, two, three, four, five shapes. Then you end up with four shapes. Then you end up with three shapes. And you know that this particular box here, the fourth box has to be only two shapes. Yeah. But because the, f the fifth box, this shape is black, we know that this shape here has to be white. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, what it I'm tricked me the first time I did it. It always does. I think it tricks yeah. everybody, <laughs> especially these type of questions, especially the mock test questions. So well done to you, Mohammed. Good try. Good lad. Uh, let's just quickly ask some of you if you understand this. Go to Zoya quickly. Uh, I think I understand it now. Okay, explain it to me then, Zoya. Let's uh, test you. So, on the first box, um, So because the last one is black, then it has to be white, that shape. And yeah. obviously we know that the first box, you've got five shapes. Second one, you've got four. Third one, you've got three. And then the fourth one has to be two, or which that particular shape has to be white. So well done, Zoya. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next one and uh, get some more people to answer this question here. Who would like to answer this? Shall we go with uh, Homera for this one? Hi. Hi, Homera. How are you? Good. Very good, Homera. So this one, you've got five squares arranged in order, and one square has been left empty, and one of the five squares should take the place of the um, empty square. So let me just quickly show you, um, Amira, you, can you see this white box here? Yeah. In the first square, now in the second square, it goes right to the top. In the third square, it comes back to the middle. In the fourth square, it goes right to the bottom. Where is it going to be in the fifth box? It's going to be right at the top. It's going to be right at the top. Now, in your boxes that you've got there, what could be, let's narrow this answer down. Which ones could it be? Um, it could be A. Yeah. Um, it could be A, C, or D. Okay, good. Okay, so now we've narrowed down that it's going to be A, C, or D. We know that it's not going to be B and E, so we can just kind of like cross them out. Okay, so let me do that for you here. This is the best thing to do, by the way. Cross them out. So then you can shortlist what the next answer is going to be. So for the next one, um, Amira, so you've got a white dot at the top. This particular white dot, white dot here, can you see that? Then it comes right to the first square, then it comes right to the bottom and it becomes black. Then it goes to the middle and it's white. Then it goes right to the top and it becomes black. So in our next square, uh, in our next square, missing square, is it gonna be black or is it gonna be white? 
going to be white and it's going to be at the bottom. Fantastic. What, what do you think it's going to be? Can you say that again? D. Well done. Did that make sense? Yes. Excellent. Well done, Amara. Good work. Thank you so much. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Question number eight. And who would like to answer this particular question? Anybody in particular? Have a go, be, be courageous. Okay, let's go to uh, Anaya then. I shall come back to you. Hi. Hi Anaya, how are you? Good, thank you. Very good. Um, I think it is going to be A. A? A? Yeah, why do you think? Because the the black circle, it mm -hmm. starts in the middle right. and then it turns, the shape itself turns diagonally to the right. Yes, and that's then, right. And then the black circle will move up one. That's correct. So if you look at this box here, it moves diagonally to the right around about, let's say about 40 degrees, roughly speaking. So this box would be around about here, roughly speaking. And on top of that, in terms of the black spot, which is in the middle, and that then moves towards the right, then it comes back right, and then it comes back to the left. And now we know that black spot is gonna be in the middle. So A is going to be the correct answer now. Yeah? Good work, well done. Thank you. Okay, so we'll just do a last one here uh, for the moment, and then we'll come back. Let's go to Zarina for this one. Hi. Hi Zarina, how are you? I'm good, how about you? I'm very good, thank you, Serena. Are you okay with this one? Would you like to um, try this one? Um, I need some help on this one. Okay, so if you look at the first box, we've only got one half a moon there, let's say. And it's plain, it's on the top left. And then we move on to the second box this particular moon comes down here can you see just there yeah. and, it, and it turns black in color and then we have a full moon on top which is semi-colored black and white if you look at the third box that particular moon again has now turned positions that's in the top right but now we've got two circles which are semi-colored And then in the third box, we have one, two, three full moons and a half moon, but the half moon is now black. So in the fifth square, do you think the half moon is going to be black or white? I think it might be white. White, okay, that's fine. But in terms of the, the look at the circles, now here we've got one, there we've got one and a half, here we've got two and a half. Here we've got three and a half. And the next one, we're going to have four circles. But now we have to determine. Will it be? Yeah, go ahead. Will it be E? Why will it be E? Okay, because okay, have a look at this circle. Have a look at the fourth box. Sure, have a look at this circle here. Can you see the circle? Yeah. The one I'm pointing to, highlighting now. Can you see the shading? Black is at yeah. the bottom, white is at the top. Black is at the bottom, white is at the top. Yes? Yeah. Is that not the same as these two? Yeah. So it can't be E. 
Or will it be eight then? So in terms of A, the shading is at the top. You're absolutely right. But can you see this shape here at the bottom? The shading's at the bottom. Can you see? Yeah. But the, here the shading's at the bottom as well. So it has to be on the opposite side. So it is a very tricky one, this one. Will it be B? I would say that it will be D. Because if you compare that to the fourth square here on the top, the shadings are exactly opposite. Compare this with this. Yeah. Are the shadings exactly the opposite? Yeah. Exactly the opposite. And that's the only square out of the five options where the shadings are exactly the opposite. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, because you know when you look at these, I mean, even I got confused looking at these boxes. I mean, they're so similar, aren't they? Yeah. But we're just trying to swap the shadings over, that's all. So in this case, D will be the correct answer. Okay, well done, Zarina, for that. Uh, Anam, good. Ebenezer, well done. And also, uh, Ebenezer, you only need to give me your answer once, not 10 times. Okay, I can see it. <laughs> so don't worry. Uh, Zoya, well done. Sabi, you as well. Janet, Hisham, Faija, well done. Uh, Muhammad, good answer. Good answers, by the way. So, here by you as well. Um, two, three of you, I'm not getting any answers in the uh, chat box. And I would like some answers, please. Uh, please put the answers in the chat box so I can then determine how you're getting on. Okay. Uh, Aisha, did this one make sense to you? Is that okay? Mursaline, yeah, well done to you. Okay. Let's just quickly talk to a couple of you very quickly. See how you're getting on. Okay, Ebenezer, I'll talk to you at the end, not to worry. Thank you. Bilal, uh, good try, by the way. Aisha, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so with this question, did you understand this one, Aisha? Um, yeah, when you explained it. Uh, so how do you do this one then? Um, so first of all, you start with a white semicircle. Mm -hmm. And then in the next square, the white semicircle turns over and it adds a black one and another half black semicircle. That's true, circle. that's true, yeah. And then in the third square, it adds a white semicircle and the black one kind of turns over. And that happens in the fourth one. So in the fifth one, the black one should turn over mm -hmm. and it needs to add a white one. So it can't be A because the fourth one starts with the white. And it can't be B because that one starts with the white too. So it was out of C, D, or E. Mm -hmm. And then um, when we look at the um, bottom square, um, the, they all kind of flip over. That's right. So on this one, it should be a black one and a white one. And mm -hmm. then on the second square, right there should be a black one and a white one and that should carry on for the bottom two yeah good well done good work excellent thank you so much for that okay so we're going to move on to um verbal reasoning now uh mock test one so we'll do a few questions from there as well and then we'll follow up again to the next lesson so i'm just going to get mr obeyed to do some of these questions with you okay so There you go, Mr. Bate. Hi, how are you? I'm very well. You? I'm I'm good, thanks. Sorry uh, to keep on waiting there. And um, that's okay. Uh, let me just share my screen with everyone. Okay.
Uh, can you see my screen right now? Yes, I can. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's begin, everyone. Hello. Uh, we'll be doing verbal reasoning one. Uh, this is a mock exam. It's got 80 questions. We won't be able to go through all of them, but uh, let's do a few of these. So I'll, I'll do the first one myself, and then I'll uh, request you one by one to answer the other questions. Uh, so in this question, one letter can be moved from the first word to the second word to make two new words. The letters must not otherwise be rearranged, and both new words must make sense. Identify the letter and choose the correct option. So we've got two words in front of you. Uh, in the first box, we've got the word metal, and in the second box, we've got the word dough. So what we need to do is we need to uh, shift the letter from the first box to the second box so that we have a totally new word in the first box instead of metal, and we have a totally new word in the second box instead of dough. So what we can do is we can shift the letter T from the first box to the second box. So, and when we do that, we end up with uh, uh, the, the, the word meal in the first box and the word thought in the second box. So let me, wait, what's the option? Let's see. And can I please ask you not to draw on the screen? In fact, I'll, I'll just disable yeah. it. Yeah, Marceline, if you, um, if you don't mind not doing that, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so uh, the correct option is T. Uh, so yeah, the, the previous one. So let's have a look at the next question. We again have two new words, uh, and I'll request to start off with Janak. Hi, Janak. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Janak, would you like to do this one? Yes, please. Go ahead. I think it's going to be D. D. Uh, I mean you E. E, okay. So you want to shift the letter R from the first box, uh, from the first word to the second word? Brother. Yeah, so what do you get in the first box when you, remo uh, when you remove the letter R? Line. Line, good. And what do you get in the second box uh, when you add the word R, add the letter R? Brother. That's very good, Jenna. Thank you so much. Uh, next, let's have, uh, is that Zainab or Zrenab? Hi, how are you? I am good, how about you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, would you like to do this one? Um, I think um, over here it would be B-I. The first word would be based and the second word would be paint. Good, so basically what you're doing is you, you're uh, shifting the letter R I from, from bias to the word fan to make paint, right? Yes. That's it. Oh, wonderful thank you so much so it's b i so so when i shift the letter i to the second box i get based in the first box and paint in the second box thank you again and let's move on to ome mahmood hi how are you i'm good uh would you like to do do this one or do you need some help yes I, I've got this. Okay, go ahead. But I think the answer is D. D. Okay, and once you move the letter M to the second box, what words do you get? Chop and team. Chop and team. That's that's uh, absolutely correct. Do you know what chomp means? C H O M P. Is it something to do when you eat? Yeah, uh, chewing food noisily, that's when you jump. So, uh, it's M, right? Option D, M. Thank you so much. Now let's move on to the next question. And again, we've got 
the words in front of us and I would request, just give me a second. I'll have Ruby ask this. Hi Ruby, how are you? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, Ruby, I can't hear you. I'll, I'll get back to you in a moment. Let's have Zoya answer this. Hi Zoya, how, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Zoya, would you like uh, to do this question for me? Yeah. Um, Go ahead. Would it be L? Would it be L? Uh, so when you shift the letter L to the second box, what do you get in the first box? Payer. Can you repeat that for me? Payer. Payer, exactly. And what do you get in the second box? Flight. That's good. So L indeed is the right answer. It's B L. Thank you. For the next question, we've again got two words, uh, brain and tail. Who'd like to answer this one for me? A lot of volunteers. Let's have Bilal. Hello. Hi, Bilal. How are you? Good. Bilal, would you like to answer this question? Yes. Is it A? Okay. Is it A? Uh, B? So basically you're shifting the letter B from the first box to the second. Okay, so when you do that, what do you get uh, in the first and the second box? In the first box you get rain, in the second box you get table. That's, that's perfect. Thank you so much, Bilal. It's B. Go on to the next question. And I see who wants to answer this. So let's have Farija. Is that Farija? Am I pronouncing it correctly? Uh, hi. hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I think it's going to be Uh, F, the F. two the two new words mm -hmm. would be lower and lift. Yeah, lower and lift. Yeah, so lower. once you move the letter F to the second box, you get lower in the first box and lift in the second box. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Let's. Let's move on to the next question. Let me just read the question for you, for everyone. In this question, the same letter must fit into both sets of brackets to complete the word in front of the brackets and begin the word after the brackets. Identify the words and choose the correct option. So uh, I'll just do the first one for you. So if we were to place the letter, we, we've basically been given five options, M, T, T, S, and N. And we need to place one of these letters in the box so that we end up with two new words at the top and two new words at the bottom. So if I were to place the letter D uh, in the box, then let me just write down the words for you. Give me a second. So we'll end up with word, then find, and dice. So basically what I've done is I've placed one letter in, in, the, in the two boxes. I've placed the letter D in both the boxes and I've ended up with four words. I've got the word word, then I've got the word den, and I've got the word find, and finally I've got the word dice. So uh, let's move on and let's have uh, you attempt these questions. Just give me a second, please. Let me just clear my screen for you.
Okay, exactly the same question. You need to place one of these letters in the two boxes and uh, let's uh, just give me a second. Let's have Muhammad answer this. Yes. So I think and it's P. So loop, peak, reap, and pull. Uh, Muhammad, just give me a second. So you're going with the letter P, right? Yeah. So what words do you end up with? Loop, peak, mm -hmm. reap, and pull. That's perfect. Thank you so much. That's right. Let's move on. Uh, and let's have. Let's have Anam answer this. Hi, Iman, how are you? Good. Uh, would you like to do this one or do you need some help? I think I can do it. That's lovely. So which letter would you place in the two boxes? Okay. Okay. So, when you do that, what other words that you end up with? Rook, kick, mm -hmm. oak, and kind. Let's just write them down. Rook, kick, kind. Oh, sorry. Oak and kind. Do you know what an oak is? Um, is it a bit like a nut. A nut. It's kind of a tree. Hmm. Okay, that's just lovely. No, Iman. Thank you so much. That is the right answer. Let's move on. Okay, again, uh, we need to do the exact same thing. Choose a letter and let's have... Let's have... Let me just pick someone. Let's have Sali answer this. Sorry, Sebi answer this. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Do you need some help or would you be able to do this one? I can do this one. That's good. Um, is it T? Is it T? Uh-huh. So, and it makes cart, tip, fact, and trust. That's perfect. Thank you so much. So when uh, once you put T in the two boxes, you end up with cart, tip, fact, and trust. So it's option A, T. Okay, next one. Uh, what should I pick? Just give me a second. Let's have Jannat answer this. Um, is it going to be Do you need some help? Is it going to be B? It is going to be B. So once you put in the letter R in, in, in the brackets, you end up with cheer, rank, spear, and rank. Thank you so much, Janet. It's B, R. Okay, uh, let's have 